Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Go there and leave us in peace. And that's a fact. Uh, uh, what's a fact? I'm sorry, Maurice, but I have to tell you, I moved to Florida to bring my kids up the American way in a theme park. And that's just the kind of person I am. A Oh, it's the 4th of July. Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richard, What? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. But I digress and plug. Stop doing Don't that. Don't interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue in chapter 23 of my book. You see, the Alaskans are lunatics, plain and simple. They eat whale and snow and are asleep in the freezer. Who wants to eat snow every day? Oh, I tried to help. I sent a helicopter with copies of my... Kill you. 